Hey guys, I recently attended the Memphis Area Beekeepers Association short course. It's a, an annual short course our club puts on. It was really good to be there and have the opportunity to speak some and, and help guide some new beekeepers um, on their new beekeeping journey. Did have a few questions uh, from some second year beekeepers uh, about pollen. They said they were seeing lots of red pollen coming in right now. That red pollen comes from this right here. This is what we call henbit. There's a slightly different variety called purple dead nettle. But they're essentially the same. It's a great early pollen source. Uh, it produces a little bit of nectar. And it's very important for the bees because it's one of the very first things that they can work. Here in West Tennessee, you'll start seeing this blooming in December. And it goes right on through spring. So it's very important. It's before the dandelions. Uh, it's everywhere. Uh, a lot of times in a newly plowed field, like some that are out here, you'll see carpets of this just kind of a purplish green carpet it's beautiful um, it spreads like wildfire but it doesn't really hurt anything it's a native and it's really good for the bees uh, one telltale sign you'll notice uh, your bees they'll have a little war stripe um, kind of an orangish reddish stripe on their head from accessing these small little little orchid shaped flowers these little blossoms so that's one telltale sign. And then, of course, the, the red pollen that you'll see them bringing in. Uh, I hear some people saying that the red pollen is from the red maple. They get that confused because of the name. See, red maple produces a, a red flower, but it doesn't produce red pollen. It produces a grayish-brown pollen, and it's considerably later than this henbit. Uh, you will be seeing them coming in at the same time, though. But henbit is a lot earlier. So that red maple pollen is going to be a grayish to grayish brownish color. Um, and you're also going to see a significant amount of nectar coming in. That's when you're really going to see them start to pack that nectar around the brood nest. Uh, lots of maples are really early. Maples and elms and, and elders. and They come in close to around the same time. Red maple is one of the earliest. And you'll start to see that pollen coming in. But not all maple pollen is the same color. Some of it's a, a very beautiful bright green. So it's interesting getting into the, the pollen colors. And you can learn those from books. But you can learn those from the bees themselves. You just get out and you follow them. And see what they're they're working on. What they're collecting from. And take a look at those pollen baskets. And see what they're bringing back and putting in the hive. If you see them putting up green pollen. Try to go out and see where they're getting it from and identify that for yourself. So this is purple dead nettle or henbit and it's red pollen and I'll catch y'all around.